Welcome to the Science Asylum. I am Nick Lucid. BPM Miner was wondering, why can we see through glass but not through a wall? Can you please explain it? Yes, BPM. Yes, I can. From a purely mechanical standpoint, it's actually more surprising that more things aren't transparent. I mean, atoms are mostly empty space. This is a pretty typical visual of an atom, but sizes have been exaggerated so you can see everything. It actually looks more like this. So it seems weird that photons of light can't just pass right through. Why isn't everything transparent? Electrons are greedy little f***ers. Quantum physics review time. Here are some things you should know about electrons and atoms. One Electrons do not have size. They're point particles. No size. Two, they can only occupy certain energy levels. Those levels are different for different types of atoms and also depend on how the atoms are bonded. Three, since energy is definite, position is not. Until something tries to find out where it is, it's in a superposition of all the places. They're like that jerk on the subway that manages to take up three seats. If electrons are simultaneously everywhere, then the photon is going to hit one no matter what. And electrons are greedy, so it'll absorb the photon no matter what. Wait, I thought you said they can only be at certain energy levels, so doesn't that mean they can only absorb certain types of light? Eh, it depends on what you mean by absorb. You might have seen other YouTube videos explaining glass this way. It is true that electrons can only jump up energy levels when you give them just the right type of light. But let me make something very clear. Jumping up energy levels is not the only way electrons can absorb light. If it were, there would be no such thing as reflection or refraction, which is ridiculous. Clone, get in the particle machine and become a photon. Seriously, that's always so uncomfortable. Yes, Awkward M is already there. Take Super Energetic Clone with you. Who? I have a lot of energy and I'm gonna make a super great awesome photon. All right. Excellent. Electrons may be greedy, but they're also very picky about how they absorb the light. Take this electron, for example. Hi, crazies. When just the right guy, I mean photon, comes along, she gets excited. Hi there, I like you super duper a lot. Oh, hi. I like you too. And she jumps to a higher energy level. If she's an electron in a gas molecule, she'll calm down by releasing a new photon. However, if she's in a typical liquid or solid molecule, then the other molecules are too close. And she's far more likely to calm down by giving up that energy to move the other molecules. That increases the thermal energy instead of releasing a photon. When the wrong guy, I mean photon, comes along, it tries to get her excited, but fails miserably. Hey, baby. Get out of here. The photon was still absorbed by the electron, but then immediately rejected. He just doesn't do it for her. The reason things like reflection and refraction happen is because in real life, there isn't just one photon and one electron. There's a ton of each. There are so many photons hitting so many electrons that photons are just going everywhere inside the glass. Those photons interfere and cancel each other in most places. Where they don't cancel, you get the light we actually see, traveling in a new direction determined by how the atoms are organized. But why is glass see-through and a wall isn't? Oh right, that's what this video is about, isn't it? Do you remember what we said earlier about electrons? They can only occupy certain energy levels. Those levels are different for different types of atoms and also depend on how the atoms are bonded. That part about bonding is especially important. When atoms bond to each other to form solids, the energy levels move closer together to form bands. This leaves large energy gaps between them. The gap between bands in glass is about nine electron volts, which is too big for visible light. To excite electrons, the photon has to have an energy of at least 9 electron volts, which means its wavelength must be at most 138 nanometers. That's ultraviolet light. If visible light can't excite electrons, then it won't get absorbed as thermal energy. It still gets absorbed, just as a vibration in the electrons instead. And since the electrons always reject those photons, they make it out the other side. Transparency. So what's the worst glass thing you've ever broken? Be transparent about it in the comments. And until next time, remember, it's okay to be a little crazy.